what is up guys so uh, basically as you might have realized right now we're doing a growth hack per day uh, yesterday we released a video on how to scrape clutch.co clutch.co is basically a marketing agency database they also maintain a database of SEO companies IT companies development companies etc today we're going to be showcasing something else and this is something that I included in the email blast before but I also wanted to showcase it live just so that you guys can get a like better understanding with regards to what the whole gist is so essentially what we're scraping right here is something called hunter.io and uh, I, I, pff, skip it no from the other perspective hunter.io recently released something called a tech lookup and what this does basically is it does the exact same thing as built with but at a much much cheaper rate as a matter of fact it does it for free and what built with basically does is it compiles and aggregates a database of companies that are built on a certain technology or that are using a certain technology for instance now where does this come into play many stores for instance will generally build themselves on shopify many websites will generally build themselves on wordpress or wix many other stores will also build themselves on magento for instance if you have a built with aggregator that collects this data and then provides it to you in an excel sheet this means that you can then take all the urls scrape them and enrich them and essentially outreach to them so this is like super beneficial for let's say marketing companies that are servicing e-commerce brands for instance and they want to do a uh, an email outreach with lemlist to shopify store owners or magento store or, or store owners for instance or from a manual outreach perspective so essentially with this one what we're doing is uh, all you have to do is just go on hunter.io technologies uh, the link for this is in the description right under and you open it i found it through i think it was product hunt back then yeah we just broke it but essentially uh, let's just sign in super quick yeah, accounts are free as far as I know so it's not that much of a problem uh, you log right in and then you go on tech what was it recently released like released less than a month ago technologies tech lookup right there it's this one and uh, essentially what you do is is you search for a technology so in this case we'll do Shopify again and what it does is it aggregates all the websites that are built on Shopify which you can then plug into Scrapebox and then begin manipulating so in this case so companies using Stripe as well I think it creates a list for that so if you're in payment solutions you can actually hit them up with another offer for instance how many websites do they have they have 23k websites using stripe so if you click on create my list select the websites with stripe limit the selection of we'll do all industries in this case languages we'll do english and then popularity five validate it's going to give you 5,000 websites for free so that's 5,000 data points for free at the end of the day and then if you want more you can upgrade which isn't a it's not too necessary but you can do it if you want to so in this case we'll do stripe and then we'll do Shopify as well and one of the reasons on as to why this is a bit of a game changer is because previously if you ever did this with built with you'd know that built with has a crazy price it's like I think it's somewhere within it's close to a grand basically for data I might be a lot less than that but I know that it's really 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 expensive especially for what they do which sure I mean they do keep a database of all the websites that are certainly built with a certain function but still either way it's pretty pretty expensive so in this case if hunter is able to give you 5,000 websites for free and then you have scrape box or you're using phantom busters data grabber you can actually work some pretty good magic from that standpoint so in this case we'll just move this data right here and then this one is the stripe we'll work with the stripe data set just to show you how it's all done by the way if there's anything that you don't understand or you require like they even actually give you their twitters if there's anything that you don't understand or you want more information with regards to scraping growth hacking etc there's a link to the growth hacking bootcamp right under it's 99 bucks super cheap 
you'll learn a lot i'm sure that it will pay for itself um but essentially yeah just urls or websites using stripe so essentially if you're using scrapebox so we'll just head over to scrapebox in this instance i also showcased the uh, super email validator which we used previously we use it on a couple of growth hacks everything to do with email you always validate the emails before and then you plug them into lemlist or whatever but uh just waiting for this to clear if you're working with scrapebox in this scenario and this is stripe again essentially what you do is you save this list as a csv or you copy these urls directly into text and then new text document uh we'll do stripe so that's the paste file save and then open up scrapebox import url list and replace current list and then it's stripe right about there and then in this case and i mentioned this previously before essentially what you're doing is uh scraping all the urls for um emails and there's also custom grabbers as well uh, you can grab their phone numbers as well and there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do with scrapebox as well scrapebox actually has one functionality that i've yet to test out but essentially what it does is is it goes on the website and it fills out the contact us form so you'll actually get a call back directly from the company I'm not sure if this is with Scrapebox, but I know that there's a tool for it. But I think there's a very high chance that Scrapebox has this functionality. But essentially with this outreach, I mean, from an automated lead generation framework perspective, uh, like its relevance would stand in the fact that you would outreach to them with another payment processing system saying that, you know, Stripe takes, I don't know, 2% of your payments. We only take one and we accept high risk payments as well. So you want to low bowl them with regards to price and basically offer another offering. That's the best way to outreach with regards to tech lookups. And in this case, you're able to do just that to grab their emails. You turn off proxies in this case because it's a bunch of different URLs. So there's no problem with regards to that. You can either even bring the, um, the number of threads to a pretty crazy amount because no website will block you because you're not reaching the same website twice and then grab check emails by crawling sites start and essentially yeah you have all the emails if you guys want a discount for scrape box as well post it in the description section below and then processing and then already is collecting emails the yield here is a little bit lower, not that high, but it's totally normal because not all Shopify websites have a, an email. Some do, some not, not Shopify, but not all websites have an email. Some do, some have it as a uh, an info at or a contact at, etc. But you can still work some magic in it. And then once this is done, um, based on the metrics here, I think it's going to grab anywhere from... 2000 to 2500 emails you plug it into the super email validator just make sure your port 25 is open plug in this list it will clean verify validate and from there on you have i don't know 2500 emails that you can outreach to from a tech lookup perspective the exact same thing can be done for shopify uh, if you have another like builder out there or another builder website you're essentially able to outreach to them lowball again with regards to pricing etc or if you do shopify web designs or if you're an e-commerce marketing agency the exact same thing um reach out to them say that you're able to boost their e-commerce sales or lower some sort of cost and then you can work magic from that um and that's essentially it it's just the hunter tech lookup i know i did an email blast about this previously but i just wanted to sort of showcase it uh briefly put if you don't want to use scrapebox you can use phantom busters data grabber which is this one right here but it will take a lot longer than scrapebox because you can't control the number of threads opened because as i always mentioned phantom buster makes money on execution time so they want to slow down a couple of processes in order to basically milk you more i'm sure that that's not their incentive they also have like server things to like keep in mind but uh slow speed makes sense with their business model so if you want the fast version scrapebox if you want the slow version phantom buster uh but essentially that's that what else um 
essentially like literally that's it in the upcoming day or two i'm going to be releasing a pretty big guide on linkedin automation in 2020 and 2021 with the bundle that we're working with right now and how it just basically plays out with all the proxies that are necessary etc because linkedin automation is not what it was a year ago where you could just run duck soup across i don't know a couple of virtual machines on your computer and get a lot done things have sort of changed right now every account requires its proxy Every proxy has to stay the same. The IPs have to be cleaned, etc. So I'll be documenting that and showcasing that in the future. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get the notification and turn on your notifications when the video goes out. And um, essentially, uh, if you want to join a kick-ass growth hacking community as well, I've got a direct link to our WhatsApp group in the description. And if you want to learn more much faster, check out our growth hacking bootcamp. If you need any of these systems set up internally, feel free to head over to Inside Insight or message me on WhatsApp and we can discuss. But yeah, yield is pretty high. Plug it into Super Email Validator and then from there on, rock and roll with either Lemlist, which is a pretty cool thing, or uh, with G Suite and Gmas. So G Suite... This one. And that's that. Uh, I'm sure you guys know G Suite, but yeah. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.